Jesus loved us to death, during death, and after death. He um, uh, had something special for us because death couldn't hold him down. Oh Lord, it was uh, one more river to cross this old thing called death until Jesus Death was the common denominator. Death was the bad guy. When the grim reaper come, it's all over. But Jesus said, I come to show you a new thing. I'm not only frail, but I'm something else. Talk to me, somebody. I know you see me bleeding. I know you saw me in court, not even entering a plea, but I've got something in reserve that I'm holding for the believers. I took something away for later, and I put it on a shelf for a rainy day. And when Jesus died, it showed up for a rainy day. Jesus had one more river to cross after the seven last saints. Oh yes, he did. One more river to cross. But the important, most important river for the most important person, for the most important people. Say yeah. Some have been on this sick bed and been awful low. Some have even fell into a coma, but God is able to bring them back, but not Jesus. Oh no, when he said it is finished, it was just getting started. Yes, Lord, good God Almighty. Yes, but uh, this old river, where the waters are turbulent. See, we 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 putting off the most inevitable thing that there is, and that is to meet God on God's terms. You see, we put it off because life can be so tough. Your loved ones can be so cruel. People that you do for, that you love, can show so much disrespect. People, people that you spend time with, people that you invest your best into, can turn their back on you. So, when looking at troubled waters, it's hard to cross troubled waters. See, see, sickness, help me somebody. Sickness will make us pull back. But baby, death is coming. Just as sure as you and I are here today, death is coming. And so Jesus uh, looked at life and looked at humanity and looked at the fickleness of life and he said, I must build a bridge. Like the cow train workers, like the highway workers, Jesus says, I must build a bridge. But until I can build a bridge, I believe I'll lay down and be a bridge over troubled water. Yes. Yes. The bridge must be built between earth and heaven. A bridge that the broken people can go over. A bridge that the poor people don't need fair money for. A bridge that black, white, brown, and red can all be together. A bridge where the church won't treat the LGBT community so bad. A bridge where young folks can be with old folks. A bridge where we can come together and our, the best of our religion is the best of our humanity. Yeah. If one more person walk, I'm going to tackle you like the water boy. 
Yes, a bridge must be built where the broken are welcome. A bridge that serves to traverse the troubled river. But the proud cannot go over until they are made humble. Yes. Why is being frail so important? Because we're all frail anyway. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anybody caught the flu that's going around? Yeah. Anybody know anybody that's caught the flu that's going around? Yeah. Anybody go to bed feeling well before? Yeah. And wake up the next morning and can barely move? Yeah. See, the truth is that we're all frail yeah. anyway. Yeah. And it sooner that we understand that God has called us already, yes. we'll understand the pull of God. Yes. When you understand the pull of God, you take your toys, even if your toy is a person, and you put it aside, and you prepare to give God your best. Yes. 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 You see, when you understand that God is calling you, you stop fronting. Yes. You know that God knows where you are. Amen. And I ask today, where are you? You getting by? Did you come out to celebrate that he got up? I can't celebrate that he got up. Until I get up. Yes. See, because Christians, some people keep Jesus on the cross. So he'll be there for them. But he's been there all the time. <laughs> the trouble that you face is that time is ticking. Tick. Tick. Yeah. Tick. Yeah. Another day gone by. Mm -hmm. Another week. Yeah. Another month. Yeah. Has it been a year since I've seen you? Yeah. And we still procrastinate. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The river of death, mm -hmm. failing and destruction, has a terrible current. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some rivers are notorious for appearing like they're safe on the surface of the water. Is that you today? Is the top of your river all dressed up in your Easter best? But if we look underneath the river surface, there's a terrible and violent undercurrent. Are you finding it harder and harder to put this thing together Jesus. and put your face on uh -huh. like everything is great? Uh -huh. If you're finding it harder and harder to put on your happy face, uh -huh. it might be your time. Uh -huh. We're all in need of Remembering that God is aware of our humanness and our fragileness. Any fragile people in here? And with our fragility, what you gonna do with it? Embrace your humanness. Embrace that you're a mess. Embrace that you can't even keep your word. I got a friend that served 17 years as the guest of the California Penal Institution. <laughs> right. And the first thing he asked me about about being a month out, he said, why do everybody lie now? Right. Just 17 years ago, before he went in, he remembered that if somebody said, I'm going to call you. Right. They really call you. And somebody said he was going to do something for you. They really did it. So he keeps saying to me, he said, what happened while I was on the inside? Why is everybody lying? Jesus. I said, well, they're not lying. they just stretching the truth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Wrap yourself around the fact that you're going to let yourself down again if you don't get some help. Wrap your arms around the fact that you can't do it alone. If you can do it alone, you wouldn't need God. Amen. Amen. If you don't embrace your weakness, if you don't hold in your mind the fact that you will do the very thing that you know you shouldn't do, you will put in you more than you intended. You will go further than you desired and stay long after you thought you'd be home. Can I get a witness? If you don't embrace your shortcomings, God will tighten the vice. Yes. Wow. God will blow on your money. Jesus. God will let you get some dust in your nostrils. Wow. God will let fluid come up in your lungs. Jesus. God will make, your, make you turn your car key. Car and your car just do like this. Yeah. <laughs> Any bucket drivers still in here? Talk to me, son. Well, God will make us aware of our shortcomings by tightening up the pressures of life. The rhythm of death seems daunting because it is. To die without having made peace with one's maker is a cruel and untimely death. Christ is a bridge over troubled waters. Even in the midst of your situation, I can hear the slaves in the cotton fields saying, get away, Jordan. Get away, Jordan. Get away, Jordan. I want to cross over to see my Lord. They were out there in the cotton fields picking cotton cane and tobacco working 12 14 and 16 hour days lord help me but still they would say one of these mornings right and fair i want to cross over to see my lord going to take my wings and fly in the air going to cross over to see my lord you see there is a bridge between where you are and where you want to be. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell anybody else. But you know you need to shore up some things in your life. You know you need to shake some of your friends, I can't remember. You know you need it every day to be New Year's Eve. So you can start doing your resolutions. Talk to me somebody. You can start trying a new way. I got a way for you. Touch yourself. Go ahead and touch yourself. Is that a strong person? I know what some of you are saying. Yeah, I'm relatively strong. Where my seniors at? Would you tell these young people that right where they touch themselves, give them a few years, you won't even be able to put your hand on it. I can't hear nobody. God in the flesh deliberately made God's self free. To be able to provide something for us that is unlike any medicine. You know how hard it is to give antibiotics to all these sick people? You know why? Because all of the antibiotics that the chickens are fed. And because of all the antibiotics that the cows are fed. And because all of the antibiotics that the hogs are fed. So when you get sick, they have to make a new mix of antibiotics. Because your body from the meat that you're eating 
has got so much chemicals flowing through you that you can't find something to heal. Well, walking with God is like that. I know you've been to that church. I know you've been to this.